Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll show a very interesting comparison between the new Stellar Studio feature for the DOS 3 and we'll compare the results with the star correction and denoising in the free Graxper software and after that we'll test also Blood Exterminator and Noise Exterminator. I've already processed the images captured with the DOS 3 Smart Telescope in the Stellar Studio app. It's very simple to use, basically you'll select album from the main menu and after that you'll select star correction or denoising and you'll wait a little bit until it will upload the image to the cloud and start processing. After that you can download the link and also download the fit corrected file on your computer. And I already have a full review and tutorial how to use the Stellar Studio so you can check also that video out. We are now in Graxpart and we load our first image, Messier 42, the Orion Nebula. And we have a median of 3.6 pixels here. We'll take this value and use it here in Graxpart. So I was correct. The full width are maximum. That shows how, how sharp are our stars is around 3.5. Let's say 3.6. Okay, and then press Deconvolve Image. We we'll leave on default Deconvolution Strength of 0.5. And let's check the results. We had also some star trails and uh, this new AI feature from uh, Graxpert here in the beta version, it will also correct the stars. But we still see those cellos. Okay, so I think we'll just leave it like this with a 0.3 value. The stars here are looking very good around and sharp on the Orion Nebula. However, here we do have some uh, halos artifacts here. So the correction was not, not the best here on this image. Stars only, okay. And we'll proceed by saving the image. Save as 32 bits. Save. Close the image now and also object deconvolution. So we load the image from here, open. So here is the image that we already did start the convolution and correction. And we'll select the, the convolution object only. We'll go strength of, and we'll go maximum. And object only, the convolve image. So let's see if it will make any difference or not. Original. So very small a difference compared with the star only deconvolution. We'll save the image and after that we'll try the denoising. We'll save the image, save select it, save, and we'll load the image again. And we'll select denoising. We'll go for a strength of, let's say, let's try 09. Denoise image. Sim09 did a better job. But this was the default. Original, denoised, original, denoised. So yeah, we'll uh, use the 09 for comparison. It seems it did the best job here. We'll save again the image. Now we'll apply a star deconvolution and object deconvolution, also denoising, to Messier 45, the pretty star cluster, and uh, the Leo Triplet group of galaxies. The nice thing is here in uh, Grag's part, we have a preview with color corrected image. However, when we'll open it in serial or pix inside, all the images will need color correction. So we need to do this for all the results. Go in serial, select uh, auto stretch. We'll start and do a calibration for all the images. So we'll go image processing, color calibration, and photometric color calibration. Here, SL42, find. We have here metadata already visible from the image and then press OK. So here is the image, color calibrated, and then we can do the same to the other images. And we can save it 16 or 32. And do the same with the next image. Color calibration, photometric, select M45. Find and press OK close and then we'll save it. We finished color calibrating all the images and we have also here the Stellar Studio images in uh, PixInsight. 
we have also the one sweep process with Graxpart. And here we have the original images captured by the DOS 3 and color calibrated that we will apply now in PixInsight Blood Exterminator and Noise Exterminator. So I'll just click on Blood Exterminator and here I will uh, just go with the default settings, apply it on the Orion Nebula and let's see first the results. And it finished. So let's check the stars, look. Up to the corner of the image, no problems with halos, stars look natural. We'll apply now Noise Exterminator and we'll drop it at the value, let's say, of 70. And drop it here and we'll check the results. I do want to compare also with the Stellar Studio Denoise before moving forward to have a similar Denoise level. After applying a value of a 70 Noise Exterminator, I've noticed that the denoising in Dovelab Stellar Studio was stronger. So I have denoised again the images in Noise Exterminator using a value of 90. I've arranged the image windows in at the same size so we can compare them better. And also I went here at image and selected synchronize. And we have here the source image, the Messier 42 processed in Stellar Studio. And I've selected all the others to be synchronized. Then I pressed OK. We'll be able to zoom in in a window and it will zoom in the same time in all the windows. So this is a very cool feature and it will help me show you better the differences. We can start finishing the test with the final comparison and let's see the results. We'll zoom here in the Orion Nebula and check a little bit here the clouds on the edge of the image, the fainter nebulosity. We have indeed more details here in the Graxper version but much more noise. And especially here in the background, we can see also some artifacts here. See, we can see some artifacts like would be colored stars. We have much better results with Blur Exterminator and Stellar Studio. And uh, zooming in here, the Dovelab Stellar Studio denoising with the Noise Exterminator, we can see here actually on the background, we have more color noise in the image that we use noise exterminator. So strictly comparing noise levels, in my opinion, the Stellar Studio image is better. What we also notice that we have a slightly increased contrast in some areas, like here in these dark clouds in the noise exterminator image. Now let's check also here the dark clouds between the Running Man Nebula and Orion Nebula. We can see more details and just slightly a little bit more noise in the Stellar Studio image. I think here on the Orion Nebula image, actually the winner is the noise reduction in Stellar Studio. Now looking also on the stars, let's check on the edge, on the corners, identical stars with Blur Exterminator. Also the stars in Graxper look good, except a few stars that have a little bit of artifacts, but not much. The correction seems not to be perfect in a Graxpert, in the beta version, but it's not a bad result. We do not have a, a winner between Stellar Studio and Blood Exterminator. Actually, they performed almost identical. I, I cannot see the difference between them. Graxpert beta version is on the third place. And on the first place, we have the Stellar Studio and Blood Exterminator, where the results I think are almost identical, I couldn't spot any difference on a star deconvolution and correction. I will make available all these images, these test images for channel members. You'll be able to download them if you will join channel membership. It's a very affordable price, $5 or less, depending on your country. So at the price of a coffee, you'll be able to download also these processed images along with other astrophotography data. So be sure you check also the channel membership and click on the join button if you also want to download these images. So in my opinion, Tela Studio was able to beat Noise Exterminator. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. And now let's move to the next image. Here we have the Leo triplet. And we can see directly we do have more blues here 
in both PixInsight image and uh, Glaxpart image. In Stella Studio, we do have more green. We can correct the color balance after. The stars look good in all the three images near this galaxy. Let's take a look on the corners. Here we do see some artifacts in the Glaxpart image, but we have perfect result with Blur Exterminator and Stellar Studio. Blur Exterminator is side by side with Stellar Studio on Star Deck Convolution and Correction. And Glaxpart on the third place. And King on the Object Sharpening or the Convolution. Stellar Studio and Graxport do have a similar sharpening here on the galaxies. However, I can see a little bit more details. The details are better here a little bit with Blur Exterminator compared with Graxport and Stellar Studio. And in this image, I believe we have the winner, Noise Exterminator and Blur Exterminator for Pixie Inside. Now let's check also Messier 45 the Pleiades. And looking at the stars, we do have these uh, stars that do not look natural. Luxpert wasn't able to properly handle these halos. However, on the right image and the left, we have better results. This is only 15 minutes integration time for the Pleiades star cluster. So we do have more noise. I think this test depends also on the integration time that you have. So looking on the star correction, perfect results, I'll say with Pixie Inside Blood Exterminator and Stellar Studio, up to the corner of the image, we do not see any distortions. Now let's see also the results on the denoising part. Graxpert already mentioned that uh, we have more noise visible than in the other two. And uh, now the final battle in the last image is between Noise Exterminator from Pixie Inside that is available also in Photoshop as a plugin and Dwarf Lab Stellar Studio. Looking here, I can see that we have more contrast on the noise exterminator image. It's also more sharpened and we have more color noise. And I have to say we have less noise in the Stellar Studio image. So regarding noise reduction, we have again the Stellar Studio as a winner compared with the noise exterminator. However, if we increase the contrast, might make this difference smaller because increasing the contrast and saturation will make more noise visible here. We have again Stellar Studio as winner on denoising on the third image with Messier 45, the PD star cluster. Please let me know what do you think in the comments below. The images are available for the channel members, so don't forget to hit that join button, download the images if you want to zoom in and get a closer look. Also, if you don't have the Dwarf 3 and if you're interested in buying one, affiliate links are available in the video description. I am really impressed. Stellar Studio did really, really well. I was thinking we'll be able to get at the same level with Blood Exterminator or uh, with Noise Exterminator, but having <laughs> less noise after using the Stellar Studio denoise feature than Noise Exterminator, this was a really big surprise. I want to give big thanks to all the channel supporters and members. It means a lot of your support. And I hope I'll see you soon in the next video. And until next time, clear sky.